Welcome back, everybody. So, last episode, we built our little chicken house here. Chickens are still uh, growing and doing fine. So, I have this area here, which is next to the water, and I'm going to continue putting in uh, farms through here, like I did you know, over there, the wheat farms. Because I'm going to need the wheat to. Uh, I get to raise my cows. And I'm going to need the cows because I need leather. And I need the leather because I'm building a library. And the library has lots of books. See, I don't like it showing the water there. But I'm, once the wheat grows, you won't see it. And then I'm going to have to, because i got one, two, three, four. I'm going to have to like... Oh! Oh, go through here. Oh, I'm going to fall down there. Uh, I have to go through here and, like, pick up uh, some water and do that. That way I should be able to grow all the way across. So I'm going to have to do every once in a while, I'll do one of these water things. And sometimes I, you know, count it out. You know, because they can be like eight apart. And other times I just look and it's like, oh, there's a, a little block there. So maybe if I put one here, it'll work. That's a good thing about, I complain because I can see the water, but that does let me, uh, you know, sneak under the block and grab a bucket full of water. So that, I guess it's a two-edged sword. Kind of looks a little funky. However, it does come in very handy. And I'm not going to make a path through here. I'm just going to make all of this wheat. And then I, you know, I don't have to worry about making a path and stuff. Because I had a path on the other block. So the, let's see, one, two, three, four. I guess right about. Let's do one right there. I had a path over where the other wheat is, and I ended up going all the way through it and raising it up by one. So it's kind of an elevated path now, which works, uh, but I had to do that because I got snow on it. There was no way to keep the snow from landing on there. So with this one, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to leave it as it is. You should be growing, yeah. And then I'm just going to cover this whole thing. I'm going to leave that moss there just for good luck, I guess. It's left over from when I was uh, doing the moss up there, putting in the landscape. I just bone mealed a bunch of moss, and I didn't realize it would go down. So this is what the wheat's going to look like. Like that, you know what it's going to do. So we're going to go all the way around here. And then it's going to go out all the way over into this area. I do need to put some more stairs here and finish up that. But this is all going to be wheat. Uh, pig is going to move. I'm going to build some piggy houses for the pig. But I'm going to do wheat, maybe carrots, uh, maybe a pumpkin field out here. Or chicken. And then over here. So I guess the farms will kind of die out around this area. I guess maybe I will transition into like a pumpkin patch here and maybe a melon farm and then we'll end up over here with the uh, to the stairs here and then once you come down here this is where I'm going to have some maybe some not docks maybe or something but some kind of riverfront area through here I'll have to check I, I've got a little rough sketch I you know like the back of a napkin sketch for this so that's where we're working from I haven't pushed the road out that way yet, but this is where the cows are going to go. Well, I went through and planted everything over here. I'm running into, oops, I've got extra, well, I've got, I've got 
where did I get all this junk from? Let's uh, do this. Maybe do that. No, I just wanted to pick up those seeds. Oh, there's got to be more seeds than that. What's concerning me is... There. Is this. So I guess I could just drop a torch on there. Looks a little cheesy, but... That'll keep the uh, snow off of it. I think maybe I'll come back with like a green moss. Oh, I don't need to wait. I can come back. If I do this, yeah, that'll work. I don't need a light because I'm not really worried about spawns. I'm worried about snow. I tell you, my next build is going to be out of the snow. I've had enough. I've had enough of the snow. All I can take, can't take no more. I need to get stairs. Why well, not? I'll do the stairs later. So I've got this area over here is cow pen. So I we'll need to stretch the road all the way down. So this is going to be a pretty big pasture, which is fine. I have a need for a lot of cows because I have a need for a lot of leather. Because I have a need for a lot of books. I bet those dirt blocks are somewhere underground. Just sitting there waiting to be picked up. I don't care. I can lose a few dirt blocks. I'm not going to break anything. Maybe this. A couple more there. Yeah. I'm just going to keep with the same, the same pattern with the diorite and stuff. So what I'm going to be putting in today is a barn. And then just a pasture. And I think I'm going to have to go over the pasture with a moss like I did before. I wonder if I should do that before I start building. I may, yeah, I may do that before I start building. Because it'll make it a little easier. And then in case I put a block, I don't think I'm going to use any stone or anything, but I may use dirt and gravel. And I don't know if dirt and gravel convert. Maybe that's what I should do first. It's just you know, moss the thing up. That should also clean up because I need to put a guardrail here. Kind of the same way I did over there. Put a rail on here. And I don't want moss to get under there, so I'll have to replace that. So let me go get some moss blocks. Oh, I'm going to have to put something up there too. I think buttons work really well. Buttons or pressure plates work really well. Do, to do this conversion. Not conversion, but I guess conversion to non snowy blocks. Do this covering for the snow. I, I still got that. Let's do this. Gonna, it is an endless battle. Endless battle to get rid of the snow. Get out of here, chicky. Move it, chicken. Move. You know, I bet a lot of this is where that coarse dirt is. Because they added coarse dirt in here to make it look nice. And I bet that is where... Well, maybe not. I thought maybe that was where the snow was all forming. But it looks like it's just forming anywhere it wants. Okay, maybe that will keep things snowless. Well, it looks like, I am luck, the gravel does not uh, get converted. Which is a good thing because I can use the gravel. 
My slabs are not going to get converted. That's always nice to see. Do I have a, is that silk touch? That is silk touch good. I got room. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of room. Although I don't think I've got real dirt. I've got coarse dirt, but I don't have any real dirt. I'll have to fill in that. But I'm going to go through and convert this whole field into moss. I would rather it be all grass. And I'll hit it up so we'll have grass on it. So I'm going to get rid of a lot of this. I'd rather have the grass, but I don't want the snow. And before, uh, before I got started, I had to go through here and get rid of a lot of snow. And my easiest way to get rid of these kind of things is to like do this. And it washes away almost everything. Or it gets stuck on a lot of stuff here. So it's going to be a while. So let me get rid of this. Get this field all cleared up, and then we can figure out where we're going to put our barn. Let's see. I think the barn is going to go over here. Actually, where is my... Let's do this. Yeah. Oh, works really good. I'm trying to re remember how I want to build this. I'm going to have a part of the building is going to go out this way. I'm going to have part of the building going out straight in the middle. I really need to clear out all of this. Since it's really easy to get rid of this moss, I'm just going to get rid of all of this and then we'll fill in around it once I get my, my bar in here. So I'm really not sure how far this bar is going to go. I have an idea. I have an idea in my head. That's as far as it's gotten. There. That is a quick cleanup with that moss. That's quicker than the shovel. Okay, so let's do this. Get rid of this. Okay, so we walk in, and this will be the front door will be right here. So this will be the barn door. Uh, it's going to be three wide. Just because it's easier to get the cows in and out that way. Um, do I have... Well, we're going to use moss. So, so it'll be three wide. So the walls will go here. So one, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. I made a mistake already. I need there. These two. There. So we got one, two, th one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So there's the door. Like that, which means we're going to run the wall down this way, right about to there, I think. Thank you. 
there and there. Two, three, four. In there. Two, three, four, five. And then this will go all the way back this way. that piggy piggy get out of there get S scram let's see how this works this is going to come out all the way here. This is going to be a big barn. In. Oh, I forgot to count. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That goes there. This will go here to there. Go away, piggy. Yeah, I think that I think it's going to look like that. Oh no 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 no. It'll look like this. There we go. I'm doing this from uh, not so much memory, and just uh, from a mental picture I've got. I saw a barn, similar shape. It's not going to be the same shape. But I thought that would not be something I would, I mean, I figured that would be something I'd want to try. So I'm trying it. Which is the best way to do this game. Just if you're driving around, you see a, something, a building that looks interesting. You either take a mental picture or take a real picture. And then try and figure out how you can incorporate that into your game. Now you just happen to need a barn. So that is how that came about. Of course, I still don't have an interior for the barn. Well, let's just put some flooring down. I'm doing uh, coarse dirt and gravel will be the floor. So if we go off the side, these would be stalls or maybe a door on this end. So I may make a door right here. That way I can get the cows in and out of the field easier. And then we'd have pens, storage for food and that kind of stuff. Storage for leather. Okay, so let me, uh, oh, I need some more coarse dirt. I need some gravel and I need to uh, get rid of the nighttime. We'll see if I can get the whole floor in. Now I've only got part of the walls. So my next move is going to be something, I don't know if it's controversial or just weird or not something I've not seen too often, is the rest of the walls. I've got this, uh, you know, the strip spruce here for the bottom part. 
And I think the upper part is going to be actually these blocks of copper. I've got lots of raw copper. Co I've got lots of raw co copper. Can't speak. Ooh. Um, so I'm going to try those. But unfortunately, uh, I'm running out of time for today. So I will uh, finish laying out the floor here. And maybe figure out where the walls and doors are going to go. And then be back next time to uh, finish this uh, building off. So thank you all for watching. Uh, come back, catch the next episode. You all see the finished product for this. So until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.